Hey guys, today I'm talking to you about papaya. Oh my god, I love papaya. Papayas are so good. Now, you're gonna be like, what the hell? That is a fruit that's high in sugar. Well, we'll talk about it. You'll decide if papaya is good for you or not. Now, I'm not trying to give it away saying the papaya is good for you, but I'll talk to you about the goods and bads of papaya and you decide if that's gonna be good for you. Now, papaya is a tropical fruit. When I was in Honduras for a diving trip, oh my god, I had papaya every day and I felt so much better. Now, I decided to look into the papaya, see what other health benefits that my audience can see, and that's why we have the video. I am Dr. Ahmed Ergin. I'm an endocrinologist, a diabetes expert, and a metabolism expert. Today, we are talking about papaya. Let's get started. So guys, papaya is actually not as bad. Now, there is fructose in papaya. Fructose is the fruit sugar, right? Yeah. Now, well, the fructose does not spike your insulin as much as you think. Now, having said that, the fructose that you hear in other foods like high fructose corn syrup has nothing to do with the fructose you're getting from fruits because your body processed it in a totally different way. Papaya contains folic acid, vitamin A, vitamin B, vitamin E, magnesium, copper, potassium, and beta-carotene. Now, another great thing about papaya is its antioxidant features. Now, you may have heard me talking about antioxidants, but that's what you need. You, diabetes is a damaging disease, right? So you all know that. Or insulin resistance in that, when it comes to that. It creates inflammation in your body that what leads to heart disease and all sorts of other problems like fatty liver, cancer, you name it. You need antioxidants in your system to help combat that. Now, you're going to be like, well, if I eat papaya, my sugar will go up. Again, your sugar is, may go up if you eat too much of it, but I'm going to tell you. It's only 13 grams of carbs in a one cup of papaya. You know, if you go get the whole papaya and slice it up and eat it all, yeah, you may have a problem. We call that glycemic load. But the glycemic index of papaya is actually low. So the glycemic index of papaya is around 55 to 60. You know, it's right around there at the, at the borderline. But uh, like I said, if you're not eating too much of it, it definitely will help you get the benefit of these antioxidants. So what else? There are flavonoids in papaya, which are the natural substances found in vegetables and fruits that help your body to make insulin. They even help your body to regenerate the beta cells, the beta cells that make the insulin. So what else do you want, right, from, from a food? There are even studies showing the results of the papaya preventing patients with type 2 diabetes progressing to insulin use and being insulin dependent. Also, papaya is rich in fiber. So when anything is rich in fiber, you know that it's going to have a slower spike in your blood sugar and that's not going to trigger excessive insulin release, which is not going to cause excessive fat accumulation and so forth. Papaya also contains enzymes, and these are digestive enzymes. So papaya contains enzymes that help the digestion of proteins and carbohydrates. Now, some people cannot tolerate proteins as much. Some people cannot tolerate carbohydrates as much because they lack certain digestive enzymes. Uh, now, it's not their fault. It's because of the way they're raised. Their gastrointestinal system adapts to it. If you're a meat eater, you're not going to be able to tolerate beans and vegetables. If you are a plant-based person, you're not going to be able to tolerate the meat and so forth. But papaya takes care of that because papaya has enzymes that can help you digest protein and carbohydrates. Now, what happens when you're not able to digest a certain type of food? Well, the bacteria starts digesting it, and that can cause very uncomfortable feeling and bloating and so forth. So as a result, papaya actually has been studied and has been shown to be beneficial for people having gastrointestinal problems like even IBS or, or colitis and so forth. 
So it's um, if you have if you're suffering any type of uh, stomach upset, try papaya. I think you will enjoy that and you will get the benefit. So what's the bottom line? So papaya is all around a great fruit for diabetics as long as you keep your portion size low. I would eat papaya in addition to your uh, meal. You can consider papaya as your dessert and, and that's going to keep you full because of the high fiber content. It's going to help you digest food better and it's going to help your beta cells produce insulin so your blood sugar does not spike. Again, anytime you are having fruits with a healthy meal with a good fat content such as olive oil and avocado and nuts and so forth or avocado oil, you will definitely get the most benefit from your fruits instead of having fruits as a meal which will lead to excessive consumption. But I think, as I said, papaya is great. Leave a comment. Uh, tell us what you think. Also tell me what you want to hear in this channel. I will read all your um, comments and we will act accordingly, guys. So, until I see you next time, have a great day. Alright, thank you for watching and I want you to be more informed and more educated. So to do that, go ahead and watch this next video right here.